I'm Julia Cunningham with Who's Say, and I'm joined by Kyler Lee, who you might know from Grey's Anatomy or Supergirl, or perhaps as a duet with your husband. Oh, so <laughs> funny you mentioned that. <laughs> Obviously, we know that you and your husband both have music in your background, but mm -hmm. what made you actually decide to work together on music? Well, we've been together for a long time. Since, like, teenagers? Yes, 18 years to be exact. Oh, wow. Exact. On my birthday this wow. year, 18 years, and in July, we will have been married for 15, which... Thank you. In Hollywood, Maybe. that's, yeah, you know what, actually, that's, yes. That's you know a what? lifetime that is a lifetime. that was. Absolutely. Um, but it's always, you know, it is always, music has always just been a part of our relationship in general, just by the way that we connect, and Nathan's just always been a musician at heart. And, you know, he's done so much more from an acting standpoint, and that's where we met, was in that realm. But I've always encouraged, I'm his number one fan, regardless. Sure. And, and I say that, it's going to sound biased, I get that. But I don't really care. I really genuinely am. And um, I love his music and I've always supported it. And we have kids. So it's like, it's been a, it's been a juggling act for a long time just because one of us would work, the other one right. would Right, how do you hold off. a baby and write a song on a guitar? It's I'll like tell you what, working it, out. it can be done. It can it be it done? It can be Wrap done. Wrap the guitar yes. around the baby? You use the baby's right. little arms as kind oh, of like the little, like, it's like a pit. It's like it's easier like on the piano, maybe? Oh, absolutely. I don't know. Yeah. Just take the feet yeah, yeah, and you yeah. do that. No, it's always, music is a huge part of our lives in our house. Everybody sings in the house all the time. It's, it's actually hilarious. It's really odd if you don't hear somebody singing. I like that, though, because then it's like, right, just much more natural for things yeah. to evolve into song. Everybody or appreciates writing, yeah. music and, and, you know, whether it's singing Disney songs and like, you know, with the kids and our 10-year-old has a beautiful voice. We're all, it's all, everybody's musically inclined. And so... With Nathan, like when we put his music on, it's the, it's the very first thing the kids ask for when we get in the car and go anywhere. It's time for daddy's music. Oh. And so, you know, and we joke because um, our son, he's 13, he's got Asperger's and ADHD. And so for him, when he hears music, he'll appreciate it 100%, but he'll be like, that's really good, it's really good, dad. But you know what I would have done differently is that I would have, you know, done such and such and such. And they're like, Thanks, buddy. We'll take that into consideration for the you know, next one. Important listening group, right? It's great. Instant it's, it's, feedback. It's instant feedback. It's it's critical and it's it's <laughs> some to learn by. But um, no, it's a, we have a tremendous amount of support. And this in general, nowhere in general, was something that it's a song that Nathan wrote for me about me about our relationship. After having been together so long and both of us working, it's hard to connect. It's hard to have time together at all. Sure. And so it was kind of like a, a love letter in a sense. And that after all these years and after everything that we've been through, it's still, there's still true love. There's still something that we're growing in constantly. And you have to, I mean, this business is, can be a nightmare yeah, for absolutely. relationships. Um, and then you throw kids into the picture and it's kind of like three, whole, it's three, three <laughs> of them. There's three of them. We're outnumbered, which is, it's been, it's been challenging, but, um, it was a, it, it's something that he, um, invited me into in this and we've done stuff before together mm -hmm. singing wise and again like I always help him with his songs and right I, like I, I we run things by on all grounds yeah, yeah yeah which has always been great but he's like babe I really think that you know this is something that was originally intended to be just him but he's just like I really think that we need to do this together it's like I want you there oh. as a presence where you hear it you know you hear me come in on the on the second verse you hear me kind of like join but it's it's sort of like it is the idea of, of it's almost ghost-like. It's kind of like a haunting, mm -hmm. you know, sort of thing because we're not together. Like very That's ethereal, the right? Exactly, yeah, exactly. Ethereal. exactly. Yeah. So, um, but it was a, it was it was kind. I don't want to say difficult, but he's so good about being him in any situation, you know. And so for him singing, it just comes naturally because mm -hmm. these are his words. It's what he's writing. For me, I'm so, so used to being scripted that I'm speaking somebody else's words and I'm, I'm being as authentic to that person as I can, but it's still, it's coming from me. Right. So they're my emotions, it's me. Um, I'm a storyteller, as I said, that's what I do. But for me to sing was almost terrifying in a sense because sure. it's like, this is me. This it's is me being me, like it's a yeah, rock. Absolutely. And so he walked me through it and he was my support. How is he as a director when it comes to like He's, singing in studio? And he is, he knows exactly what he wants, which I think sometimes can bite him in the butt because he's he's like a fine tuner, like sure. fine tune, fine tune. And you're like, tune, we got tune. it four takes ago. And he's but he's like, no, because I'm gonna wait for it. When I hear it, I know it. And he knows it about himself too. And he'll stop himself, go like, no, 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 that's not right. Let's do this. And he can hear all the sounds and he hears everything. 
he's like a composer in a sense. So he's got the whole thing mapped out. Um, but he's so incredibly encouraging and, and you know, he loves me and he knows my voice. He knows what I have right. and I, where I'm self-conscious about certain things. He's like, babe, you got a better yeah. one than that? Do it again. And I'm like, okay, all right, cool. So is this going to become like a family band at some point? Is this going to be pushed family is Yeah, I don't me. know why not. I can feel it happening. It's, I, I'll t you know what? I wouldn't put it past us. Yeah. I really wouldn't. I mean, I don't think we'd have matching outfits or like drive around you in a minivan. You gotta do the matching outfits if you're gonna do Maybe it. if we got like a really badass jet. <laughs> and like... Yeah, sure. Everybody's, jet? yeah. I'm yeah. in too. I'll join. Yeah. Tambourine or something. Yeah, sure. Um, but has that been sort of one of those conversations where you thought, okay, well, are we, is this something where it's like my husband's gonna take this on the road now and we're going to let this tour and play out or? Yeah, I mean, we're, we got a lot of things, you know, lined up and he's got, um, he's got a ton of different venues that he's gonna be doing and uh, uh, kind of all over the place, but we have a show at the Troubadour awesome. on March 18th, 11 p.m. Very famous up here in, in yes, Hollywood, up on big, Sunset. It was a huge, huge score. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, so he's, he'll be doing the set, but I'm gonna come on and join him for Nowhere. For and okay. then a few other songs that we'll, you know, I'll be singing with him. And we're gonna do some covers, some fun stuff, some oh. really cool stuff coming up. Um, so I'll be joining him for that, and then he's got a ton of other things well, lined up. Do it's the, happening really fast. Do the covers sort of fit in with the style of music that we hear on his EP, or is it sort of like, or will we be surprised? You'll be, yeah. Okay. It, the, he's he's figured out a way to cross so many different genres of music, but still keep it very cohesive. And um, so there's so many different styles, and so like you'll hear one song, and it won't be anything like the next song, mm -hmm. but still, it's almost like the. Um, Imagine Dragons. Oh, okay. They're in the sense that, like, I know I'm trying to think of the name of the album. And I feel like a jerk, but um, you know, you can huge listen hit to from you know, the, you know, the, the ones that everybody knows, like you know. the radioactive stuff. Yeah. But if you listen to that album, not a lot of the songs are the same. Right. So it's no, very. No, those are it's, like standout. Songs. It's taking yeah. you on a journey, yeah, and so for if sure. you will, it's it's a musical journey. That's that's pretty much what you're embarking on, and everything has a a message to it. He doesn't do anything just to make something and to have like a you know. A B track, like he has everything is intentional. These are all side A's. Yeah, these are all these A's. Are all side A's. He gets straight A's on this one. Love that. I love yeah, that. And where can people look up more of his music uh, outside? Because I know you've been tweeting and posting about uh, the duet that you guys. Hey, do he has about. a website. It's eastofeli.com. So you can go there and you can listen to it. It's on Spotify. It's on iTunes. Um, yeah, we have it up on um, my Twitter account, mm -hmm. my Instagram account, his as well. Right. Um, we're just trying to spread the spread word the as word. much as possible. He's got an enormous gift. He just, I've always seen it, I've always believed in it, and I know that just like using that power of influence, he's got an amazing, encouraging story to tell. Yeah. And this is, this is the perfect avenue for him to do it. I might roll through that Troubadour show. But thank you so much for coming through. Thank and you people for having find me. Her. She's just shy of a million follows on, on all of her social media accounts. What are you doing? Follow her. I'm just saying, it's, I'm pretty, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out, Skylar Thank Lee. you for having me.